All right, Sherlock, what's the bluff? Well, Watson, once again, I used the sublimation spray, but this time I used it on a non-porous surface. Did it sublimate? Yes. Did it wash away? No. Is it vivid? Not really, but there could have been operator error because I used a heat gun while I was going back and forth for six minutes on a cup turner. So had I done it differently in a bigger oven, it probably would have worked. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. I'm sold on the product. How about you? What about your end goodies product? So on my end goodies, it came out the same way. I love the way the image came out. It was very vivid. Am I completely sold on it? No. Operator error? Possibly. I used a heat gun also, did not get that heat going to it. Would I use it again? Mm, not 100% sold. Use it again maybe one time just to see if it's going to do what I need to do. Did it pool on the top? It looks a little splotchy. It is very splotchy on the top, and that's one thing I did not care for because I had to use alcohol to clean it up to help out. So, bottom line up front, yes to the sublimation spray. Not so sure on end goodies, it sounds like. Not at all. Two times in a row. Come on down to Spooky Spread, and night is where the nation.